Now to Mercer County, where voters in Hermitage and Wheatland will decide in November whether to merge. Tonight in Hermitage, there was a public meeting to discuss what it all means. The merger is being promoted as a benefit to both communities, but still, some are hesitant. Here's First News reporter Hannah Erdman. Research conducted by the Pennsylvania Economic League says that a merger would benefit both Hermitage and Wheatland. Officials from both municipalities say that this is a win-win situation for everyone. However, residents still have a few questions, specifically about the school districts and taxes. Tonight at the meeting, both of those concerns were addressed. But officials admit there are still some loose ends that will need to be addressed if the merger passes. Wheatland's mayor, Ron Viglio, assures residents that what makes them Wheatland won't change. Anything that deals with the state, the post office, the school district, all of that's going to stay the same. So we're still going to be Wheatland. Officials say in the long run, property owners in Wheatland could benefit. There would be a significant reduction in property tax. But they would see a slight increase in income tax. As for Hermitage residents, they wouldn't notice many changes short term from the merger, but long term. It would be nice economically to be able to connect the land and uh, expand. Hermitage City Manager Gary Hinkson says the borough land has a lot of potential. That would provide an opportunity for future economic growth for the city. After the meeting, some residents are still wondering if they are ready to take this issue to the polls. Coming this far after at least one election, uh, they ought to have some of those answers, but they don't yet. In order to pass, both municipalities must vote majority yes. If one or neither vote majority yes, the merger will not happen. If passed, the merger will go into effect in January of 2024. Reporting in Hermitage, Hannah Erdman, WKBN 27 First News.